Absolutely. They, they are not one to hold their oh, tongue here. This doesn't surprise me. Leslie Leatherman's got the stick. Uh-oh. He's got something to say. But we're not looking for money. If you've got an extra two or two for this lady, that would be great. Leslie Leatherman for some choice words for fans at ringside here in Petersburg, West Virginia. You're telling something. We'll hurt over here. We'll hurt over here. Leslie Leatherman getting in the so ring now, but he's not putting the mic down. Pretty nice. Like it. Yeah. 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 Pretty sure that's a lady. I uh, <laughs> might have been sarcasm. I'm not sure. Take the off. Take it off. Come on, my man. Leslie Leatherman uh, has obviously offended that side of the ring. Yes. And it looks like he's uh, taken exception well, to the other side. This side over here had nothing to laugh about. With the exception of her, there is no one good looking over there at all. No one at all. Leslie Leatherman has. Uh, Officially offended Petersburg. Who's your favorite pet character with Lily Tyler? Was it Mary Ann or was it Ginger? I'm just curious. There's a little bit, uh. It's a great opportunity for me tonight. I'm here tonight. I'm today, but now I'm waiting to burn this to ball, see if we can burn it one air when you do. Leslie Leatherman, sorry, I'm never at a loss for words. I'm going to finally become the undisputed Elite Pro Wrestling Alliance champion when I unify these titles. So it'll be a great, great accomplishment. TJ Slate. Yeah, I think it's my title is number one, Leslie. So why aren't you defending your title? You got no guts? No courage? You're too good to defend your title for the people of Petersburg? Uh, I hate to break it to you, but uh, I got a pretty good one for you. Mm. Oh, wow. That took, took a lot of guts to look him in the eyes and say that. That's very true. I don't know if you want to anger the big guy. No. So, uh, what's Oh. Playing with fire. De definitely, uh, definitely got the uh, <laughs> adulation of the fans here by making the remarks. It's, it's just my time. For you, Russell. I mean, if you want to skip those last three donuts, maybe you know, the Wow, and as you can see here, the fans of Petersburg taking delight. Cutting straight to the big man's heart, or should I say his stomach. Absolutely. That was, that was painful. Oh, my. Wow. Oh, and now oh. TJ Sykes taking exception to the oh, fact yeah. Leslie Leatherman. Leslie Leatherman making a comment about TJ's manager at Ringside yeah, Silhouette. I, I think we need to know that, but I do like home. Oh, wow, and here we go. A little innuendo Le for those playing Leslie along at home. Leslie Leatherman continues to insult Silhouette at ringside. Taking great well, pleasure in it. He's always the first to laugh at his jokes, isn't he? You can see, yeah, yes. absolutely. Hey, and, un <laughs> and unfortunately for the rest of us, we get to laugh right along with him. Yeah. Well, Leslie, I don't know if there's anybody well, he hasn't well, offended yet. I'm sorry it was wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. And he, the hits keep coming. Leslie Leatherman now tossing the belt. And you can see that the, the enormous Elite Pro Heavyweight Championship belt as Leslie tosses it to the referee. Tom Fitzgerald nearly took him off his feet. It did. There we go with these, these fans. Fans obviously pulling for TJ here. Absolutely. It's kind of hard not to.
Oh, and Leatherman got the hand up there. TJ finally got his hands on him, shoves him off. There's that power display. TJ one step ahead, of course, as the Cruiserweight champion fires that right hand. Wow, slips under the back door. Another big right hand. TJ using some of his jive moves. Aaron Leatherman nearly spilled to the flat. He does. Oh, he, does. He, he didn't stand a chance there. Left his feet and he just kept going. Leslie Leatherman quickly out to the floor. Momentum carrying him through the ropes. And everybody here in Petersburg on board with TJ Sykes' efforts. There we go now, TJ one in, referee holding him back. Leslie taking his time. Is he catching his breath already? I hope that's not the truth. Oh, and now Leslie oh, no, this face good. to face with Silver on the floor. TJ better get out here. Oh, wow, and she put the headphones on not to listen to him. Oh, wow, and Silhouette Solid contact. just rifled a slap across the face of the heavyweight champion. I think that got his attention. Wow. Silhouette now taking a stroll down the ring apron there like she's on a runway, and Leslie Leatherman's beside himself. I mean, the referee's standing right there. That very easily should have at least sent her back to the back, much less not a disqualification. TJ Sykes now putting his hands on the heavyweight title belt. I'm not really sure why. Even if uh, you know he has a chance to win it, he hasn't done it yet. This isn't Leatherman's first rodeo, and I've been out with Leatherman in the bars. That's not the first time I've seen a lady slap him across the face. <laughs> T.J. Sykes, gentleman as always. At least that's what I'm told. Here we go now, Leatherman taking his time, getting back in. I'll tell you what, the first, last thing he wants to do is try to go step for step with T.J., the Cruiserweight champion. I mean, he proved last night the quickest guy in the, in the roster right now. Side headlock, there it is again, one step ahead. Leatherman goes to a knee to try to take a little of that pressure off. Seeing some strength there from TJ as well. It's not easy to keep a big man like that at, at bay. Absolutely. And the thing is, TJ being the cruiserweight champion, I mean, he's a fit guy, though. He's a fit cruiserweight. He does cut weight to make that limit. And there we go. Nice reversal into that hammerlock, back to that headlock. And that shows you the size difference between the two because TJ had to jump off the ground to get up to that headlock and bring Leatherman down to his level. And people don't understand the size and height of Leatherman, Leslie Leatherman, until you're standing right next to him. There, and that's a big power display there, big Irish whip. Oh, and he's back to the headlock. Most guys will have to, you know, get that momentum, back a guy into the ropes to whip him. Leatherman, one arm tosses him across that ring and is an Irish whip. We got another power display there. Mm -hmm. Trying to apply that bear hook on the kidney. There he goes again. Oh, and TJ one step ahead again, right back to the headlock. Silhouette now approving of his man's uh, tactics with the headlock there. Has control of them and it looked like maybe maybe a handful of hair. Or dreads, whatever. <laughs> whatever that's called. It looks, it looks like Sean was in on top of it. Oh, oh I tell you, that was that's painful. Hey, and unless you're a Samoan, let of his chops are as painful as anybody well, I've ever been. His, his hands are enormous. His hands are absolutely huge. I Leslie yeah. Leatherman could palm a bowling ball. Heard a story about him once where he attempted to palm a baby. I don't know if that was the entire the entire child to fit in his hand. <laughs> Very possible. There we go. He charges in big boot brought up. Oh, oh wow. and Leslie Leatherman. Smart move. Like TJ maybe landed very awkwardly on that shoulder. That left arm shoulder. I can't tell if it's the elbow or if it's the Definitely so drove the arm hard. into the ring canvas. He pulled him off there. I mean, I don't know. He may have a, a stinger, maybe caught his elbow 
on the nerve. Very awkward landing, rather than pulling his feet the rug right out from under him from the second rope. That's really going to be an advantage for Leslie here. Oh. I think it's going to slow him down a few steps. Absolutely, and that very shoulder just got jammed oh. into the, the ring post. And I can honestly say I feel TJ's pain right now. Uh, it's amazing how, how much you need a shoulder till you don't have it. You realize at that, that, that moment that it's, that it's gone. Absolutely. Speaking from experience, as you're dealing with a similar injury, we don't know the extent of TJ's right now. Unfortunately, we know the prognosis is on yours, and that's why you're sitting here. Absolutely. But yeah. uh, TJ Sykes trying to work his way back up onto the ring apron there. And I don't know. I mean, he had a 10 count. He didn't utilize it. Oh. And an arm ringer with enough propulsion to bring him up over the top and back in. And now you saw the uh, demeanor of Silhouette on the floor definitely changing. She's definitely worried. As well she should be. I mean, Absolutely. her man, the Cruiserweight Champion. I mean, this is an exhibition match. And, I mean, it is a title match. But having both champions, his title's not on the line. So there's no threat of him losing that belt. But he's got obligations with that title belt. So, they, I mean, essentially being the champion is on the line if he's unable to compete. Look at the torque now, Leatherman. Say what, and with Leatherman's height, I mean, there's so much more leverage being put onto that shoulder. Oh, oh. Man. Beautifully Just executed. Sheer strength. Leatherman letting the people of Petersburg, West Virginia hear exactly what he wants them to know, and that's that he's the man, it's his world. Oh, and here's the club. Anybody that's been in the ring with Leslie Leatherman since 1998 knows the, the club. He takes that giant canned ham and puts it right across your forehead, across your eyes in a single blow. Getting some encouraging words there by Silhouette. Leslie Leatherman is just measuring him. Now. Measuring. Oh, and he's right oh, back, right to, back the to the arm. arm. And a beautifully executed almost shoulder DVT there. Leatherman now. Uh, and Silver quickly gets away from Leatherman. Unfortunately for Silver on the floor, ignoring Leslie Leatherman will not make him go away. No. He's a champion for a reason, and you're seeing it right here. He's picking him apart. Very tactical approach to this match. Beautifully executed. Stepping right on the tricep. Oh. Brought that wrist back up the way he hooked his toe there just beneath the forearm, but even more so, stepping on the tricep with his heel. Lateral press now. Didn't hook the leg, but Leatherman now leaning on him. You can just see the, the tendons and the muscles just stretching here. Absolutely. This is not a good place to be. And now pushing down to separate the, the head and neck away from the shoulder even that much further. You isolate that joint and it's, it's, it's all pain. That's all he can feel right now. He's really going to take some heart and some, some fight to get out of this. Here it comes. With a couple short knees there. It looked like three to the temple. Leatherman quickly goes back to the eyes. Smart move. Frowned upon in the world of officiating, but smart move. When it comes down to the winning a fight, you just you get you, sometimes fighting dirty is all you can do. Here we go. Fighting oh. back with one arm here. Leslie Leatherman having that height advantage. TJ trying to work his way up that mountain. Oh, oh wow! The, the point of the knee right in that back of that shoulder. And look at the torque here. You can really see that shoulder. I don't even think it's in place right now. If I'm looking at TJ, I've been in that situation myself, and it does not look like that shoulder is in a good place. And now into a top wrist lock, also putting the torque into that shoulder, also into the elbow joint itself. And this is dangerous. He's got that wrist torqued. Oh! This could be it. At this point, Silhouette needs to wonder if she should throw the towel in. Doesn't look like Leslie's worried about... Uh, about winning the match right now, I really think he's sending a message. Absolutely, and the fact that 
TJ, I mean, we know he's all heart. We saw it last it night. Is. We've seen yes. it here today. But the fact is he has a title to protect. And, I mean, sometimes an opportunity to heavyweight title, maybe it, it could always come back around. But he's got a title of his own to worry about. And at this point, maybe it's better to tap it out and take it home. Oh, and a beautiful hammerlock. Butterfly suplex almost there. Leslie Leatherman uh, made eye contact with me, and I've seen him hit that move many a times. And, you know, I, you're not going to find a guy in more of Leslie Leatherman's corner than me because uh, I've been there so many times over the years. But here we go. Handful of the jugular of TJ Sykes. Now, TJ has not even been to his feet for several minutes, and that's not a guy you want standing over you when you can't get off the ground. Absolutely not. And Leslie Leatherman oh, right slung the, the sweat into the eyes. Of the referee, Sean Fitzgerald. All the salt from this he ate earlier just burning the eyes of the official. <laughs> Big knife heads there. And TJ holding himself up with a good arm. And completely oh. unable to protect himself with the bad one. TJ trying to get a little distance. Didn't work. There comes the club once more. The viciousness of the champion. I mean, you got an 18-year veteran here. Picking the cruiserweight champion apart. Iris Whip now. Oh, and a big stomp. He went for that sunset flip. And, and he didn't stomp on the head. He stomped on the on the, the shoulder, the, the injured arm. He definitely picked his spot there. TJ had him, had him in a dangerous position, but oh, this isn't good. Wow, and things are escalating now. He's using the steel. Oh, and Leslie Leatherman using that ring as a tool. When we get the physician ready, this this amount of pain that TJ Sykes is in right now is, is almost unbearable to watch. I can only imagine what he's feeling, what's going through his head. TJ Sykes now trying to get back to his feet. Oh, he's trying, he's to, trying to put it, it back, back in, in place, yeah. Martin Riggs yeah. S from yes. Mr. Weapon. He's trying to <laughs> pop it back in. He's got to find a harder surface. I, I don't know, that arm's still dangling there, so I'm not sure if he was able to get it in. I mean, right there shows you the heart, just trying to get that arm to work. Big iris whip. Oh, and he ducks out of the way there. Glancing blow there. He kind of caught him in the ear with the toe. It looked like it, like his ankle got caught up on the shoulder just a bit, but the toe definitely looked like it kicked him right across the ear, which, you know, that's enough to, to take the guy off balance, deal with the equilibrium. Le it was enough to take Leslie Leatherman to a knee, so it definitely had some impact. I don't think Leslie knows where he is here. He's going to have to gather his thoughts. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, a big knee lift that's right really... underneath the chin. And Leatherman is down for possibly the first time in this contest. To be honest with you, I can't remember him being on the ground. No. And TJ setting up. He's trying to get that shoulder oh, where it's it needs in. to be. It looks like it's in. It takes a man to put your shoulder back in. Oh, and he caught him on that. It looked like the, the chest. He caught him in the upper chest there. Didn't get him up under the chin as much as he wanted. Leatherman still staggered from that knee lift as well. A lot of time here, TJ. Nursing that shoulder, trying to use one arm to crawl over. He's, he's hooked the leg. This could be it. Oh, we nearly had a new he heavyweight champion. TJ Sykes, not even a half a count away from being the first Double, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the second, second double yes. title holder, but the first cruiserweight and heavyweight champion in Elite Pro. Aaron Radatz, of course, being the cruiserweight champion and the tag team, one half of the tag team champions with his partner, Eddie Page, at the same time simultaneously, but both singles titles have never been held simultaneously by a man, so he, he was so, so very close to breaking a record. Leslie Leatherman catches the crossbody. What's Leslie Leatherman going? Oh, no. This isn't good. Oh, oh, Samoan drop. I can hear the breath leave his body. And that's the, that's got to be all she wrote. 
Big Samoan drop. There's no way. Drop. There's no way. Leslie Leatherman hooking the leg. It's got to be it. And that's oh, it. Unbelievable. Huge power display from Leslie Leatherman catching a crossbody no into that fashion. trademark signature still, Samoan drop. Beautifully executed matchup. The Highwayman, Leslie Leatherman. 25 minutes after they come out of the court, Leslie Leatherman finally one ups the Cruiserweight champion. And, and that, that, it's almost a metaphor because the size and power is what gave him the edge in this contest. Absolutely. While evenly matched throughout, that, that the power and the size of Leslie Leatherman catching him and then hitting that Samoa drop is what gave him the edge there for the win. And Leslie Leatherman walks out retaining the heavyweight championship. Kudos to TJ though, he definitely uh, took it to the heavyweight champion. That's the first time those two men have ever stepped into the ring together in singles competition. Oh wow. Well, I guess Leslie Leatherman's got the cruiserweight title belt now. Oh, this Leslie Leatherman now. He's thinking about it. What's Leslie Leatherman doing here? Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, what a show of class. Leslie Leatherman. Leslie Leatherman just draped the Cruiserweight title on the Cruiserweight champion's shoulder after the victory. A very rare wow. shine of respect that for an opponent. Leslie Leatherman, uh, tip of the hat, so to speak. And Leslie Leatherman walks out retaining the heavyweight championship. Absolutely. Definitely earned a lot of respect tonight. You don't see a whole lot from that, but that shows you exactly what TJ Sykes brought to the table tonight to earn that kind of respect for the champion. Absolutely.